Hello and welcome to the video demo of Aerodum Penji. Aerodum Penji is used for wireless packet capture and especially it's more useful while capturing raw 802.11 frames for cracking the web key. The packet trace captured by Aerodum Penji is the input for cracking the web key and it is given as an input to AirCrack NG. Let's look at usage of Aerodum Penji. If I just write Aerodum Penji, it will show me the help file. The usage is simply like Aerodum Penji, options and then interface. The interface name is the interface on which you want to do the packet capture. Before going into details about options and filters, first let's start Aerodum Penji with one instance and let's see what Aerodum Penji actually shows. So currently I am typing Aerodum Penji minus minus channel. Now simply here one option is there minus minus channel which will capture the packets on specific channel. I have already started an AP or access point on channel 56 and I am running Aerodum Penji on channel 56. My interface is 8080. I am using a Thros based card on backtrack. This is the standard interface of Aerodum Penji when you are invoking it. Let's press Ctrl C to stop the sniffing. Aerodum Penji basically divides the screen into two parts. The first part shows the AP details and the second part shows the client or station details. The first line of the Aerodum Penji actually shows that which channel is Aerodum Penji on. If you are ro rotating on all the channels, the, the channel value here will keep on changing. The second bracket shows the elapsed time for how much time you are running the trace. The third input shows the date and time at which the capture was taken. Let's look at the AP part. It shows all the possible details about the AP. First column is BSSID. It shows the BSSID of the AP. Second column is PWR, that's power. It shows the power level which is seen for the AP's beacon. Third is RXQ. RXQ is the received quality. Column shows the beacons, that is how many beacons have been captured in the elapsed time. Next column shows the number of data packets. So in current capture, it has all already captured 487 data packets. Next column shows number of packets per second. So there are 45 packets per second seen and actually it is shown for last 10 seconds. Next column is channel, the channel on which AP is operating, it is 56. Next column shows the MB which is data rate. It is actually the maximum data rate supported by the AP. So our AP is in channel A or our AP is operating in A protocol and maximum channel, maximum data rate supported is 54. Sometimes a dot is shown after this data rate. The dot actually signifies whether the AP supports short preamble or not. In current case, dot is not shown. So currently AP is not supporting short preamble. What exactly is short preamble? You can see the videos about wireless standard. Next column shows the encryption settings. On this AP, WPA encryption is enabled. So it is showing WPA. The possible other variants can be web or open and so on. Next column shows the cipher suit used. I have configured the AP to use TKIP as cipher suit. Other possible cipher suits can be CCMP or web 40 or web 128 bit or some vendor specific cipher suit. Next column is actually the authentication setting. It is showing that I have configured the AP to use PSK that is pre-shared key of authentication. If I would have configured AP for 802.1x radius server kind of thing, it would have shown 802.1x here. 
and the last very important column is ESSID. The SSID of the AP is shown here. Let's look at the client details. Again, the first column shows the BSSID. Uh, this is actually the BSSID of the AP to which the station is attached. So in station column, it shows the MAC address of the station and in BSSID, it shows the associated AP's MAC address. In case station is not associated to any AP, in this BSSID column, you will be able to see not connected. Third column is again power, power level of the station received by the aerodrome engine. Next column is lost. Lost is number of packets which are lost while capturing. Currently it is zero, which means all the packets transmitted by the station have been captured. How this lost value is calculated is the natural question. Aerodrome PNG actually does some sequence number analysis and if it finds that some sequence numbers are missing, then it will announce that I have lost so many packets. The possible reason for this loss can be Aerodrome PNG is located or currently we are sniffing very far from the client so we are not able to get all the packets or channel is very busy or there are lots of collisions happening etc. Next column shows the packets. How many number of packets we have seen? So it is 486. Last column is the probes. If the client is probing for some SSID, we will be able to show we will be able to see the list of the SSIDs client is probing. Actually, this list is displayed in a comma separated format. Single client can be configured to probe more than one SSIDs. So all the SSIDs which are probed by that client will be shown here.